Ramadan Picks Brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome again to another episode of Ramadan Picks. Alhamdulillah my brothers and my sisters, we spoke in an earlier episode about the Battle of Badr, its relevance and importance in the history of Islam. Today inshallah we try to highlight some of the lessons a Muslim can learn and deduct from this beautiful battle and this important event in our history. First and foremost, of course, uh, knowing the numbers and the statistics of the battle, 313 Muslims, you know, unprepared, one horse maybe or two horses are fighting 1,000 strong, strong army, prepared military. And the Muslim, where is his yaqeen and where is his trust? With reliance on Allah, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is on your side, no one can harm you, no harm can afflict you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that gives victory and support and help. If you manage to get Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on your side, if you can attract Allah's support and help, then you are definitely a winner. A very, very important lesson. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, كَم مِن فِئَةٍ قَلِيلَةٍ غَلَبَتْ فِئَةً كَثِيرَةً بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ How many a time a small group of people, a small brigade will beat a larger brigade, more prepared, much more armor, you know, strong, a larger number, but because of the help and support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Muslims should never lose hope. And always our reliance should be, our, our reliance should only be on the King subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one that controls the whole universe and everything in it. The second lesson a Muslim should learn and deduct from the Battle of Badr is the submission of Sahaba radiallahu anhu. You know, there's, a, there's a, bit of, a bit of background for us to understand this lesson. The Sahaba radiallahu anhum, of course, were no muhajireen and ansar. The migrants that came from Mecca and the ansar, the people of Medina, who supported and gave victory to this religion. The pact of the ansar with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was a defense pact. So when he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated from Mecca to Medina, they agreed with him. The covenant was that we will defend you so long as you are in Medina. Now the battle is taking place outside Medina. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, once he found out that they are fighting a prepared army of 1,000 soldiers now, he asked the Sahaba radiallahu anhu, what do you think we should do? Should we go back to Medina or should we fight? Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, of course, with Iman and Yaqeen from the Muhajireen, he got up and said, Ya Rasulullah, we fight, Allah will give us victory. Umar radiallahu anhu spoke and said, Allah will give us victory. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam still did not decide. But then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was waiting and Sa'd ibn Mu'adh, one of the leaders of the Ansar radiallahu anhu, said, Ka'annaka ta'nina ya Rasulullah, O Prophet of Allah, it is as if you're waiting for us or for our opinion, the Ansar. By Allah, O Prophet of Allah, we will do whatever you say. Wherever you, we are happy to give and sacrifice anything. Take us anywhere. We are happy to follow you even to Birak al-Ghamad min the Yemen. You know, uh, like uh, Death Valley or Lost Valley, we will cross that with you, ya Rasulullah. The money you take from us and spend serving the deen of Allah is more beloved to us than the money we keep and we give our own family members. With such sacrifice, with such submission to Allah and His Prophet, the Nusra of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the victory and the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descended. Amongst the lessons that we can also learn from this battle is how the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught his companions and all the ummah after them the importance of shura and consultation. Allah ordered the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said, وَشَاوِرْهُمْ فِي الْأَمْرِ Ask their opinion before you make a decision. Before you decide, ask the opinion to gather the hearts and unite the, you know, and unite the people's hearts that are around you. So he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when they arrived on the battlefield, when they arrived at Badr, subhanallah, a famous incident, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam chose a place for the army to camp. This will be the camp of the Muslim army. And then a man, maybe, maybe you know, not famous, not one of the great and most famous companions, came to him and said, O Prophet of Allah, did, is your choice of us to camp here a revelation from Allah where we should submit and completely accept what you say? Or is it a military tactic? Or is it harb and makida? So he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was honest and said, no, it's not revelation. Bal al-harb wa al-makida, no, this is military tactics. So he said, فَهَذَا لَيْسَ بِالْمَنْزِلِ This man said, this is the wrong place. Look at, look at the humbleness of the Prophet and the courage in the Sahaba radiallahu anhu. 
to voice their opinion and how he accepted. He goes, what is your advice then? So the man said, I think we should, you know, go beside the water, cover all the other, bury all the other uh, wells of water and we will guard the water so that we drink and our enemies don't drink. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, accepted his advice and changed the position of the Muslim camp because of this man's opinion. Nowadays, we find leaders who do not want to hear anyone around them. You don't want to hear anyone's opinion, especially if he's going to embarrass him in front of his students and followers. But look, subhanAllah, these beautiful meanings and lessons we can easily learn and deduct from this beautiful battle because of all of this, this beautiful meaning, subhanAllah, the victory of Allah came and it became an unprecedented help, uh, you know, incident of victory and support from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a day that changed the face of the world. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again to benefit us with this knowledge. Nas'al Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an yaj'alana min al-ladhina yastami'oon al-qawla fa-attabu'una ahsana. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa an. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.